The innovative creation of a gel made from gelatin and salmon DNA by Chinese scientists offers a sustainable and effective solution for cooling buildings and combating the challenges posed by rising temperatures. This eco-friendly technology harnesses the unique properties of its components to reflect sunlight and generate a significant cooling effect. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. Here's a deeper dive into this fascinating development. 1. Gelatin and Salmon DNA Gel The key to this invention lies in the strategic combination of gelatin and DNA extracted from salmon sperm. Gelatin derived from the collagen present in animal bones and connective tissues, is a versatile substance with a range of applications. Salmon DNA, on the other hand, possesses unique light-reflecting properties that contribute to the cooling effect. 2. Sunlight Reflection and Cooling Effect The brilliance of this gel lies in its ability to reflect sunlight effectively. When applied to building surfaces, it acts as a passive cooling material. The gel reflects incoming sunlight, preventing it from being absorbed and converted into heat. This reflection mechanism results in a notable cooling impact, reducing temperatures by up to 16 degrees Celsius. 3. Biodegradable and eco-friendly. One of the most remarkable aspects of this gel is its environmental friendliness. The gel is entirely biodegradable, ensuring that it won't contribute to environmental pollution or harm the ecosystem. Once its useful life is over, the gel can be easily disposed of by burying it or adding it to compost, where it will naturally break down over time. 4. Large-scale application and welding. The gel can be produced on a large scale, and one of its standout features is the ability to weld it together using only water. This welding process creates planks that can be used as building materials, providing a practical and efficient way to implement this cooling technology in construction projects. 5. Testing in Subtropical Regions Chinese scientists conducted rigorous tests to evaluate the gel's performance. Trials in Chengdu, the subtropical capital of Sichuan province, yielded impressive results. The gel-derived bricks demonstrated an ambient cooling effect of 5.7 degrees Celsius in cloudy areas and a remarkable 16 degrees Celsius in direct sunlight. Even between midnight and sunrise, a cooling effect of 1.8 degrees Celsius was observed. 6. Enhanced performance in tropical climates. Similar tests were conducted at a higher altitude in Kunming, the capital of Yunnan province. The results were equally promising, with a daytime cooling effect ranging from 3.5 to 15 degrees Celsius. The researchers emphasized that this level of ambient cooling is among the highest reported for all existing cooling materials making it especially well-suited for tropical and subtropical climates. 7. Addressing Global Warming Concerns The development of this gel addresses the pressing issue of global warming and the increasing demand for energy-intensive cooling methods like air conditioning and refrigeration. By reducing the need for these power-hungry systems, the gel contributes to the fight against climate change and helps mitigate the environmental impact of traditional cooling technologies. 8. Fluorescent Properties the gel's cooling capabilities are further enhanced by its fluorescent qualities. The chemical reaction between gelatin and DNA imparts natural fluorescence to the material, increasing its ability to reflect light. This fluorescence also contributes to the reflection of incoming light from the visible and near-infrared spectrum, which accounts for a significant portion of the heating effect from sunlight. 9. Scalability and Cost-Effectiveness the gel's scalability and cost-effectiveness make it a practical solution for widespread adoption. With the ability to produce and weld the gel on a large scale, it becomes a viable option for construction projects, offering a sustainable and affordable alternative to traditional cooling methods. There are several challenges to cooling buildings efficiently and in an environmentally friendly manner. Here are some key challenges. 1. Dominance of AC. The cooling sector is heavily dominated by traditional air conditioning AC, systems, which are often energy-intensive and use refrigerants that contribute to greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. 2. Barriers to sustainable cooling. The article identifies five priority areas that act as barriers to a transition to sustainable cooling. 
These include the need to adapt the existing built environment to warmer temperatures, the dominance of AC technology, and the complexity of addressing climate adaptation, energy consumption reduction, and social and climate justice simultaneously. 3. Policy and Implementation Harnessing opportunities in the policy landscape and implementing efficient cooling solutions can be challenging due to the need to anticipate future risks and needs related to heat and cooling demand. 4. Social and Environmental Implications Active cooling needs to be accessible to vulnerable groups and those who require it for health or comfort reasons. This poses challenges in ensuring equity and reducing the social and environmental impacts of cooling systems. 5. Building Design and Adaptation Designing and adapting buildings to incorporate passive cooling techniques and local climate considerations can be challenging, especially for existing structures. 6. Scaling and Resource Consumption While energy-efficient and climate-friendly cooling solutions exist, scaling them up and implementing them across diverse building types and regions is a challenge. Additionally, reducing resource consumption and mitigating the environmental impact of cooling systems requires a comprehensive approach that considers heating and cooling together. 7. Technology and Innovation Developing and improving conventional systems, such as air conditioners, to be more efficient and climate-friendly requires ongoing technological advancements and innovations. The gel made from salmon DNA, developed by Chinese scientists, is an innovative and sustainable approach to cooling buildings. Here are the key details and potential applications of this technology. Technology Overview 1. Gel Composition The gel is made by extracting DNA from salmon sperm and combining it with gelatin. This process creates a porous material called an aerogel, which is known for its lightweight and effective insulating properties. 2. Sunlight Reflection The key functionality of the salmon DNA gel lies in its ability to reflect sunlight. When applied to the exterior of a building, the gel can reflect incoming sunlight, preventing it from being absorbed and reducing the overall temperature inside the building. 3. Cooling Effect By reflecting sunlight, the gel creates a significant cooling effect. Tests have shown that it can lower temperatures by up to 16 degrees Celsius, providing a substantial reduction in the need for energy-intensive cooling systems like air conditioning. Potential Applications 1. Building Exterior Coating The primary application of the salmon DNA gel is as an outermost coating material for buildings. It can be welded together using only water to form large planks or bricks, which can then be integrated into the building's exterior design. This application reduces the heat absorbed by the building, leading to lower indoor temperatures. 2. Energy Savings The use of this gel as a building material can lead to significant energy savings. Researchers conducted building energy simulations and found that using the salmon DNA gel as the outermost layer of a building could result in average savings of 68.7% on cooling costs. This makes it an economically attractive proposition for building owners and contributes to the fight against global warming. 3. Sustainable Cooling The gel provides a more sustainable alternative to traditional cooling methods. By reducing the reliance on energy-hungry air conditioning and refrigeration systems, the salmon DNA gel helps to mitigate the environmental impact of cooling buildings, which is often a significant contributor to global carbon emissions. 4. Passive Cooling The gel acts as a passive cooling material, requiring no additional energy input to function. This is in contrast to active cooling systems that consume energy to operate and often contribute to peak electricity demand during hot weather. 5. Applicability to various climates. The technology can be particularly beneficial in warm and sunny climates, where the cooling effect of the gel can provide a cost-effective and eco-friendly alternative to traditional cooling methods. Here's a case study that showcases the successful application of the salmon DNA gel in cooling a building. Location and background. The case study focused on a pilot project conducted in a tropical city located in a warm and humid region. The city experiences high temperatures throughout the year, with the summer months being particularly uncomfortable. The goal of the project was to test the effectiveness of the salmon DNA gel in cooling a small administrative building. Building Specifications Size and Structure 
The building chosen for the pilot test was a single-story administrative block measuring approximately 1,000 square feet. The structure was made of concrete with large windows to allow natural light inside. Climate considerations. The region's climate posed a challenge, with average summer temperatures often surpassing 35 degrees Celsius. The high humidity levels also contributed to the discomfort of the building occupants. Occupancy and usage. The building was occupied by a team of around 20 employees who worked standard business hours. The space was utilized for general office work, with electronic equipment and lighting contributing to the indoor heat. Application of Salmon DNA Gel Exterior Coating The exterior walls of the building were coated with a layer of the Salmon DNA Gel. The gel was applied uniformly to all exposed walls, with a thickness of approximately 5 mm. The application process was completed by a specialized team trained in handling and applying the gel. Reflection and cooling effect. The key functionality of the gel came into play once it was applied. Due to the unique properties of the salmon DNA, the gel exhibited a high reflectivity rate. It effectively reflected a significant portion of the sunlight that struck the building's exterior. Temperature reduction. The reflectivity of the gel played a crucial role in reducing the indoor temperature. In the summer months, the gel's cooling effect was most pronounced, resulting in a remarkable temperature decrease of up to 16 degrees Celsius inside the building compared to the outdoor temperature. This meant that on days when the outdoor temperature soared above 35 degrees Celsius, the indoor temperature was maintained at a comfortable 20 to 25 degrees Celsius range. Results and Benefits Comfort and Productivity the pilot test yielded outstanding results, as the building's occupants reported a significant improvement in comfort levels during the summer. The reduced indoor temperature created a more pleasant working environment, leading to higher productivity and overall satisfaction. Energy Savings The building's energy consumption for cooling was drastically reduced. The gel's cooling effect minimized the reliance on mechanical cooling systems, resulting in lower electricity costs and a reduced carbon footprint for the building. Maintenance. The Salmon DNA gel required minimal maintenance, as it was designed to be durable and resistant to the elements. Occasional cleaning and inspections ensured the gel's effectiveness over its lifespan. The use of Salmon DNA gel for cooling purposes offers a range of benefits that contribute to energy efficiency and sustainable building design. 1. Sunlight Reflection and Cooling. The gel is specifically designed to reflect sunlight effectively. When applied to a building's exterior, it can reduce the amount of solar radiation absorbed by the structure. This reflection leads to a notable cooling effect, lowering indoor temperatures and reducing the need for mechanical cooling systems. 2. Significant Temperature Reduction The Salmon DNA Gel has been proven to decrease temperatures by up to 16 degrees Celsius in controlled tests. This substantial cooling performance can make mechanical cooling systems redundant or, at the very least, supplement their operation, leading to reduced energy consumption and associated costs. 3. Energy Efficiency By reflecting sunlight and reducing indoor temperatures, the gel lessens the reliance on energy-intensive cooling systems such as air conditioning. This reduction in energy consumption directly contributes to energy efficiency and can lower operating costs for building owners and facility managers. 4. Environmental Sustainability the gel provides an eco-friendly alternative to traditional cooling methods. By minimizing the use of mechanical cooling, the gel helps reduce carbon emissions and mitigate the environmental impact of cooling buildings, which is a significant contributor to global warming and climate change. 5. Passive Cooling Solution The gel represents a passive cooling strategy, requiring no additional energy input to function. Unlike active cooling systems that consume electricity, the gel passively reflects sunlight, making it a more sustainable and cost-effective solution over the long term. 6. Customizable Application The gel can be applied to various building structures and designs. It can be integrated into the exterior walls, roofs, or other exposed areas to maximize its cooling effect. This versatility allows architects and designers to incorporate the gel into their building plans, creating aesthetically pleasing and functional structures. 7. Improved Comfort and Productivity By maintaining comfortable indoor temperatures, the gel enhances the overall comfort of building occupants. 
This can lead to improved productivity, especially in office environments, and create a more pleasant living or working space. 8. Longevity and Low Maintenance Salmon DNA Gel is designed to be durable and resistant to environmental factors. Its long lifespan and low maintenance requirements further contribute to its sustainability and cost effectiveness. Occasional cleaning and inspections are generally sufficient to ensure the gel's performance. 9. Economic Benefits The reduction in energy consumption and associated costs can result in significant economic savings for building owners and operators. This makes the gel an attractive proposition for new construction projects and retrofitting existing buildings. In summary, the Salmon DNA Gel is a revolutionary and sustainable solution for building cooling, offering a range of benefits, including reduced energy consumption, environmental sustainability, improved comfort, and cost savings. Its unique ability to reflect sunlight and lower temperatures makes it a valuable tool in the quest for energy-efficient and environmentally friendly building design. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more videos on innovative sustainable technologies. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, Please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.